Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Flying Scholar. So in today's video I'm gonna be teaching you on how to create NPV4 config file for NPV tunnel. So if you don't have the app you move straight forward to Play Store then you search for this app NPV tunnel. For my case I've already installed the app but if you haven't done so Click on install and open. Let's click open. This is how the app looks like. So first things first, you have to open any browser you have on your phone. For my case, I'm gonna use Chrome. Then you go to this website, sshocean.com.com. Right. So I just try to open the app. Uh, website opens so this is what you need to do you tick options here it goes to services so this is what we're going to be using we're going to use a v2 ray v less so you have to select this one let me close this out so these are the servers you could decide to use Canada use Belgium let's uh, try uh, Canada Select Canada. So these are the two options we have here. We have uh, the silver one and we have silver two here. So let's just use one. I create. Voila. Voila. These ads are just disturbing. So here, as you can see, username. You enter a username. So for me, let me just use like flying scholar, you know, scholar. So for this uh, S9 backhost, like to get this other one, you you open this website called uh, Covnet. Covnet, like this Covnet.co.ca. You open it. Now after opening it, this is what you do, you click on this SNI backhost generator, you click on it, so we're going to have a lot of options here, like you got to select your country from here, like if you're in Algeria, you take Algeria, if you're in Botswana, you take Botswana, for me I'm in Cameroon, a bit better take Cameroon, and I take generate, so these are the backhosts, there are many. Like uh, this one, this one, but I'm gonna take this other one. I'm gonna take this one. I copy. I go back to my previous website here and I paste. Of course, you have to do this capture thing to verify that you are a human. And I take create account. And we are done. You see, right? So here you're gonna copy this second one. WebSocket TLS port 443. Gonna copy it. Then we go back to the NPV tunnel here. So this is the NPV tunnel. So select savers. We go to edit. Then you tick import config from keyboard here. Then tick read to read config URI. Okay, this is a file. So I can just rename it. I can just put like. Uh, like a flying scholar, you know, like a flying scholar. Here's the file. So I select the file and bam, let's try. Mm -hmm. Connected guys, we have just successfully created uh, NPV4 config. So to prove this, we just go here, search anything, it's working right, and it's pretty fast. Okay. Server is really, really fast. 